If you don't already have a membership to your local toy library, let me show you what you're missing out on. Hi, I'm Danny, and this is Practical Mummy Loves Luxury. Welcome to my series of videos for new or expecting parents. I'm a mum to an almost three-year-old young lady, and I'm based in Australia where we can access toy libraries in our major cities. Today, I'll be showing you toys that are available at my toy library, and I assume that it would be pretty similar all over the country. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with a toy that is suitable for newborns. Here we have a baby gym, and this is understandably very popular for newborn babies. The baby will be lying on their backs, on the floor or on a mat, and you could put a baby gym or a baby frame like this over them. These dangly toys give them things to look at and also to reach and grab. My toy library allows you to keep a toy for one month and you can renew it twice. So you may even be able to hang on to this toy for a total of three months, by which time your baby would have outgrown the toy and be ready for something else. And that's what I really love about toy libraries. You can offer a toy to a child. Sometimes they will take to the toy, sometimes they don't. And some toys are only suitable for a very short period of time. For example, the baby gym. And by the way, while we're on the topic of newborns, if you're looking for other ideas that you can do with your child at home, I have a whole video on stay-at-home activities with a newborn. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a card up here for you. The next toy I'm going to show you is this wire bead maze. Again, a very popular toy. You see it everywhere. You can place this toy on the floor or on a table, and the child can spend time trying to move the beads along this maze. This is great to develop fine motor skills and also for the trajectory schema as the child watches the beads move through the maze. Now, if you're not familiar with schemas, I also have made a whole video on schemas and I'll leave a card up here for you. My toy library also offers sensory boxes, so you can loan the entire box that's full of five or six toys. And these sensory boxes may contain things like rattles, sensory balls and finger puppets. This next toy here is a posting toy. So it comes with objects that a child can post, like they're really posting mail. And this is also good for the enveloping schema as the child contains the letters in this post box. The next things available at my toy library are musical instruments. They have xylophones, they have ukuleles, drums, tambourines, and maracas, just to name a few. Musical instruments are great passive toys for sensory stimulation and they're in line with Montessori principles. What's nice about these toys is that when you borrow them as a set, if you have visitors coming over, you can form an impromptu band at home. The toy library also has a huge array of puzzles and the puzzles come in different levels of complexity. They're really simple ones where there might be just one object that you have to fit into a mold and they will often come with large handles. These simple ones are better for younger children and again they will outgrow these ones quite quickly. So it's great to be able to borrow them rather than to buy them. I found the puzzles to also be of really high quality. They're mostly made of wood and they're also felt puzzles as well. And when your child is ready you can move on to the more complex puzzles. Puzzles in general are great for the connection schema as a child is able to connect one item to another. Puzzles are also great for the transformation schema as the child watches the puzzle transform from one form to another. The more complex puzzles are also great for development of spatial perception and physical orientation. And there's also a clock puzzle which has moving hands, so this is great for the rotation schema. There's also this shoe puzzle for the child to practice lacing with. But you know, you give a piece of toy to a child and you just let their imagination run. Here, my daughter is literally placing her foot into the shoe. There's also all sorts of building toys like Lego, Duplo and magnetic building puzzles. Again, great for the transformation schema. Now, my absolute favorite, favorite things about the toy library is really large toys. I loathe to own these toys personally because number one, they're quite expensive in general and they also take up a lot of room. So you tend to run out of storage space if you own a lot of large toys. And this toy library is great because you can borrow very large toys as well. They've got a lot of tabletop toys. So these ones are great for babies that are starting to learn how to stand and they can hold on to these tabletops and play with all the gadgets that are on it. 
There's also walkers, which is great for the period of time where the baby is just learning how to walk. Hi, I've had to change angle because my filming light died. Anyway, moving right along, also on offer at a toy library are role playing toys. So these are really good to promote imaginary play. They have things like play kitchens, garages, doll houses, all sorts of dress up kits. There's picnic sets, cooking sets, tea sets, toy cash registers, toy vacuum cleaners, and model animals as well. Our toy library also offers a teepee, which is great for the enveloping schema. When we borrowed it once, my daughter loved going in there to get her nappy changed. There's also rocking horses and seesaws, which are great for the trajectory schema. There's also prams and shopping trolleys, which are great for the transportation schema. They also have ride-on toys, so ride-on cars, bicycles, and tricycles. And I've saved the best for last. Check out this huge outdoor water play kit. So to access these toys, the toy library membership fee is approximately $40 per year. And I think that is a bargain for the number of toys that you can get. At our library, you can borrow up to 10 toys at a time. My next video is going to be on time saving tips. To make sure you catch that video, do subscribe and click on that notification and you'll be informed when that video becomes available. While you wait for my next video, feel free to check out these videos over here. So if I've converted you to checking out your local toy library, please give me a like or leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Do stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.